Quite literally cleaning my lens with my dirty teddy. Make it make sense. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I need to do a spring clean. <laughs> it's officially spring. And I've let, I actually don't think I can do a pan because it's so bad. I've just let it get to a point where I keep making excuses. And this weekend was Ocean's party. We had it yesterday. And in my head, I'm like, no, I'm too busy. I can't like do a big spring clean, declutter, tidy up because we've got too much coming up and going on. And now the doorbell's going. Anyway, yeah, I need to do the things that I avoid, like changing the bed in. I literally need to strip my bed down to the point where I'm going to take off my mattress cover and I'm going to wash that as well. Ocean's napping at the minute, so I'm hoping I can get a good chunk done before she wakes up. But also, I've got the idea of my nan at hand to be like, hi, you want to spend some time with your great granddaughter? So let's see how we got on. I'm going to I'll probably vlog for a couple days, to be honest. I won't make this. I'm definitely not a channel that I'm going to do like clean with me as much as i love their videos i just feel like <laughs> you guys would be like what in the world it's just probably something that i'll start you'll see in this video and then i'll be like okay i gave up something come up but anyways let's get started we had such a good weekend i hope you guys had a really nice easter and a good bank holiday weekend we also go on holiday next week so it's a good time to be doing this kind of spring clean i'd say but let's get started Shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy. I shouldn't be up with all the weight that I carry. Don't know if it's right, but I'm sticking with you. You're my only vice, I'm dependent on you. Love's for the wicked, I know this shit too well. I talk, you don't listen, still I'm under your spell. I think I'm addicted to feeling bad as hell. I can just let you go. Something about me, I will do anything to get out of doing jobs I don't want to do. I've actually done quite a lot. Ocean's room I'm most impressed with because this was like a dumping, oh, got the tripod on still, but an actual dumping ground. It's looking really good. So I'm going to go for a quick run while she's still with my nan because I never get the luxury. So quick run, then we carry on. Every time you leave me, leave me to my fate. You're the one I'll stay for, so I wanna... The spring clean is over because... She's messing up all my stuff. Hey! Oh! <laughs> make you, ah! I'm gonna make you jump. Hey, this is why mommy has to spring clean like weekly because you move everything. You don't need it. And you've got bogeys. She has so much snot coming out of her nose and she just won't let me touch it. Anyway, perfect timing because all the sheets are dry. I mean. Oh, thank you. And also, I'll put it on the screen. Oh my god, like two minutes ago, she literally took like three steps, which is the most she's ever took. Well, it was like two and a half. But we're getting there, are we? You're getting there. You're gonna help me. God, why did I not get this done before she come back? Are you gonna help me put the covers back on? But this is the perfect time to let you guys know that I am teaming up with Emma's Sleep, and they've got an amazing Easter sale on. They've got up to 40% off pretty much all their stuff and I have a code which I will put on the screen and you get an additional 5% off on top of the sale which is insane. You guys know how much of a fan I am of Emma's sleep. Literally got their mattress, their mattress topper, duvet, oh and their bedding as well. These are, people have asked me before where my duvet covers are from. They're actually from Emma as well. But something really cool about them, as you would have seen me earlier, is that you can take off the mattress cover and wash it, which is just a godsend because it's so important that we clean our mattresses as well, guys. Obviously, it's all well and good to keep cleaning your sheets and everything, but it's important to think about your mattress, which you don't need me to sing and dance about their mattress. I'm such a huge fan. It's the comfiest mattress ever they've got a few to choose from 
I think I've got the, I'll double check the name and I'll leave it on the screen. But we've had it a while. We decided to get the Super King just before we had this one. Just in case we needed to end up co-sleeping or whatever. And it's been the best thing ever. Just love our mattress so much and everything from Emma. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave the link in my bio. And don't forget to use my code. I actually get DMs quite a lot about the code because obviously investing in your sleep it can end up being expensive but obviously we spend i think it's like 50 percent is it 50 percent of our life in our bed i feel like it is that sounds crazy but i think it's true so as much as it's a big spend it's the most important thing ever like sleep is so important to me and i'm sure it is to you guys too but mums and dads you'll feel me it becomes yeah you know more important than ever once you've got little ones if you want to make the most because like i said as expensive as it is it's amazing to get a discount for something like this thank you missy should we put the bedding back on yeah say thank you emma for sponsoring oh they're not going we need to put all the sheets back on first i wish we could go and it happened but sadly not also you get stuff like a 200 day free trial so if you're not happy you can send them back and you have a warranty as well but let's put this all back together shall we the best part about the mattress cover as well when you wash it is that it's zip so it's super easy it's something that sounds really hard to put on but it's not is it oh you smell in there does it smell nice <laughs> I'll show you up close because I've just attached it, but it literally zips up a bit like a jumper would, obviously. You just find the entrance, match it up. It was just luck, actually, that I put it on and it was the perfect placement. So then you just go round and zip the whole way. And then it is fresh and whoa, good, good as new. Goodness don't want her to see me react because I don't want her to think it's good and funny but she's just realized whilst I was zipping up the bed she knows how to climb onto the bed I'm gonna see if she'll do it shouldn't encourage but I feel like you won't believe me yeah. <laughs> right off the bed now please it's naughty <laughs> mommy's tidying up mommy's tidying up mommy's tidying up now Mummy's tidying up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mummy's tidying. Ocean tidy too. Ocean? Who taught you that? I know. It's so comfy. It's so comfy. Let's have one quick lay down then, one quick lay down. bedroom at least is done i'm exhausted guys i'm gonna have to stop there to be honest for well for now ocean's got bath and bedtime very soon so i'm gonna spend a little bit of time with her before that but well, i just don't know how the day gets to this point so bloody quick good morning it is thursday and i'm literally hiding in my bathroom because doing my makeup on my own in peace thing of the past. I just can't do it. Honestly, oh, Ocean is obsessed when I'm doing my makeup, but it's so hard because she, she just moves everything. I literally, let me show you my makeup bag right now. And by the way, this is with her. But if she knows I'm doing my makeup where I normally do it on my dressing table, she'll find me. But this is just because I've took loads of stuff out of my drawers. So I've also got this bag out, empty. And I'm gonna decant as I go, as in, as I use stuff. I don't actually have that long. I've got about, oh, I've got about half an hour. I definitely don't have that long to myself, but as I use product, I'm gonna put it in the other bag 
so that I can just leave that in this bathroom because it's actually carnage. Mums with toddlers. Does she count as a toddler? Oh, I don't know. She like pulls herself up on my dressing table and it's the perfect height for like it's just above her eye line. And as I'm doing my makeup, she's like pulling my drawer open, grabbing things, eating them, throwing them. And the last like week I've been doing my makeup and I cannot find a thing. So I don't even know if I'm gonna have everything in here that I need, but we are going to uh, first cake smash. I say a first, Ocean's first birthday cake smash photo shoot this morning. And she's not had a nap. I can't, literally still can't find anything. Okay, this is what I was looking for. I ran out of my, I knew the time would come, my dripping thing that I put on my neck. Don't even know what that is to show you, but it's the Ciate Amelia Collection collab this is the one i've gone for this time because it's the only one on tiktok that i could see that was giving me similar vibes so let's try it it looks like i've tried it but i haven't maybe it just <laughs> has someone used this but this doing this at the start of my makeup routine has no joke changed my life such a good hack if you don't really tan your neck especially on holiday like using this technique on holiday the lighting is so bad, I'm sorry. I can't find my clip on light either, honestly. Life with the baby. She moves everything. I would be shocked to the day. Do you, anyone else think like this? I always think when I come to move out of places, I will find so much. I lost my car keys in my last flat and I used my spare key for ages. And I was like, when I move, I'll find it. I never, ever found it. And it was really sad because it had some really nice little key rings and like keepsakes on it. But never found them. So only God knows where them car keys are. But yeah, you know, when you're on holiday and you sunbathe and you've got your neck down because you're on your phone or reading or whatever. So yeah, they're pretty good to be honest. I think they were like six pound. Oh, goodness me. But... Yeah, I'm excited to see her smash up cake today. It's something we kind of let her do on her six month shoot. I say kind of. We didn't really, we had donuts, but I use a girl called Taken by Tara for like parties and stuff. And she's just the sweetest girl. I've mentioned her in a video before. She actually used to be one of my followers. Well, she's still one of my followers, but that's how we met. Then the lady we're going to today she is just local to me and she's done all of ocean's like milestone one so far so right now it kind of feels like it makes sense to go back to her because we've done like a, t a tiny gallery wall in the kitchen and they're all like in the same photo studio and stuff so i just wanted to get to her first birthday and do the cake smash with the same person and then I'm gonna calm down on photos because we've actually done like so many photo shoots and I can't keep up with this because honestly we'd, we'd need like eight walls to cover by the time she reaches like 18 <laughs> but yeah just needed to get ready in peace and I never ever get ready on vlog because I always tend to do it on TikTok and I'm so proud of myself this is the stage I got up to last year of uploading on TikTok every single day of the year so far and it was my goal for last year but obviously i was a lot more lenient with myself because i was having a baby this time last year so i knew that as soon as i got up to april when ocean was due that it would probably slip off and it obviously did but so far i've kept up with it and i plan to for the rest of the year hack if you can't find a color corrector which i can't find right now just use a little bit of a cream blush I prefer to find like a more ready tone. Cherry from Refire is a really good one for under the eyes, but I can't find that obviously. So I'm using Malaya and it counteracts the darkness. People always ask me why I put like a pink underneath and that is why. Oh, damn it. Every time I start my makeup, I forget to use this. I bought a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless filter the other day and I used to use this so much probably like two years ago and then I just stopped using it. I think I ran out and then I didn't get a new one. That reminds me, I think I got an invite to the Charlotte Tilbury event soon and it's for a secret new product. But 
yeah, I've had it in the box for like two weeks and every time I start my makeup and then I see the box and I'm kicking myself. Anyway, I don't really have time to be stood here doing a chit chat, get ready with me. So I'm gonna plow along and also I'm barely in the shot. I need to keep bending down trying to sift through this Mary Poppins bag. So I will check in with you when I'm done. Makeup went really well, considering I couldn't find half my stuff. I always try and do it a tiny bit heavier if we have a shoot, just because I feel like it photographs a bit better. But now the hair, the hair is my struggle. Just such an awkward length at the minute. Where are you? <laughs> are you climbing? What a success! I'm so excited to see the pictures of you. I am, I am! But it's now the afternoon, the weather has been trash. I had so many plans for today. I wanted to just get out. I did a flicky look today. It looks horrific at this time of day, but I'm gonna pop all these balloons and I wanted to see Ocean's reaction. Also, we got another parcel from love every i feel like this is such a good idea if you have a baby it's a really good present idea as well i'm not quite sure don't hold me to this but i think it's a subscription but they very kindly have sent us a couple i think the last one because it works by month so this is for the basically each milestone's got a name so like the thinker the explorer i think this is like the 11 to 12 month one and basically they've designed them specifically for this age group so i think it being a subscription you'd get each one so there'd be like a newborn pack slightly after slightly after blah blah but i love them they're the cutest little wooden toys and she genuinely plays with them like the last set which we got i think around eight to nine months she still plays with them toys now it's just like putting balls in sections and just getting them thinking huh and we also started opening some presents from her party i'm just gonna do it gradually if you want to see that that will be in the party vlog i've still not decided if i'm gonna do a vlog of her birthday i don't know if i might just keep that to ourselves also I'm i've been trying on outfits and i've done all the buttons up wrong anyway do you want to help me pop these balloons because this is getting picked up tomorrow should we pop this she needs this frame back so we need to get rid of them but we've had them up for a week over a week actually and they've been a beautiful addition but i'm ready to have my lounge back okay we're gonna do a challenge we're gonna see if i can get ocean to do all the things that she can do so far whilst daddy's downstairs running the bus yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's already doing the one i was gonna start with so i'll explain after but what noise does a doggy make so it obviously that's correct <laughs> we're gonna have to break it to at some point that a dog actually does also go woof woof but she goes <laughs> and there's a dog on the screen you do it what noise does a doggy make good girl and what's something else you've started doing <coughs> What about this one, ready? <laughs> Can you do... Go, 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 go! Where is your nose? Where could it be? Where is your nose? Good girl! Oh, bye. She really said, no, mum, I'm not into this. You wave into everyone say bye. 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 Snotty nose. Good morning. I'll be real, I just delivered. Sainsbury's. I'm not gonna lie, it's about a six minute walk, probably less, but just so hungry and we literally have nothing in the cupboards. Um, I need to have a proper shot, but 
I just wanted to get a few bits like we needed milk. I kind of craved some bacon. Just little random things. I don't do it all the time. I actually rarely ever do it to be honest. But good morning. I did not get two packs of bacon, did I? Oh my god, they gave me an extra pack of bacon. I only ordered one. Money. Go, man. Yeah, last night I went to the gym really late, which is so unlike me. I mean, I can't really brag. I literally did a 12 3 30, which is the which I still think is really good. Um, obviously, doing something is better than nothing. It's the um 12 incline minimum. I done like 15 incline though. I was gonna go hardcore. Um, 30 minutes and speed three, but. In the UK, it's mainly speed 4.8 because it's, I don't know the way around, but most of our treadmills here are kilometers per hour. Maybe it's the wrong way around. It's either miles per hour or kilometers per hour. But if you try speed three and it feels like you're not like breaking a sweat, up it to 4.8 minimum. I had mine at five. But anyway, good morning. Ocean is down for her first nap. We've just had all the balloons taken down, like the rest of it. And it's horrible weather outside actually, so typical England. This also is the best bread in the world. Not the healthiest, but if you've not tried this bread, add it to your shopping basket next time you go shopping. You can literally smell the tiger for it. Oh, I'm so excited. In a couple of hours, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. I'm starting my treatments for our holiday, which is next week. I need to also, at some point next week, change these out because we have a wedding. That is the main reason for the trip. So we're going to St. Lucia for the wedding. And just for like navy blue isn't the vibe. I don't have a clue what I'm wearing. Don't call me crazy, but I don't know. I just can't find anything I like. I found a dress from Primark that I quite like, but it's a bit too pale pink. I think it's like, would be a bit rude because it's like borderline white. That's awful. There is actually a white party when we're there, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna go past the storm here and we'll go get my eyebrows fixed in a bit. Also, cooking bacon, I just unlocked a core memory that's just like made me so happy. So I don't have many fond memories of school to be honest. I didn't love school, but every single exam, mock exam, any important day at school, my nan would make me and my brother bacon sandwiches to take to school. That was the highlight <laughs> of the bad period of exams. And every other day other than that, in case you're curious, I have Marmite sandwiches. Ocean just literally launched my camera. Oh. And she cried and then laughed straight away. No, do not encourage that cat. She's being terrible too today. I folded all the wash in and she threw it all on the floor. And also, this might be my fault, but she's got a white jumper on. It's covered in strawberries already. It's one of them days. Give me my a hair. Okay, I'm gonna make this an errands run trip. I need to get my brows done, like I said. And I've just grabbed the Primark stuff that I wanna return. I'm just so out of breath, I just run upstairs. And then here's my outfit. I love these joggers, perfect length and fit. These are from a brand called Rue and Rocker. You can even see, it's getting really sunny out. Cash just said it's gonna be 20 degrees tomorrow. Sorry, what? What in the England spring is going on here? Okay, brows done. They always look kind of crazy for like <clears throat> two days. And then oh, I put the tiniest bit of like minimal makeup on. I wish I hadn't now, but <laughs> kills me when I first get them done. But I go to buy Yasmin if anyone is in the Hertfordshire Essex area. It's actually in Essex but she's the best, so I will travel to her. Now I need to go and, oh, I really don't want to run into town when it's Easter holidays, but you know, it needs must. We need to, I need to return some bits. And I've been putting off going to the bank for so long. I feel like there's such a lack of banks nowadays. The last couple of places I've been, 
to find a Barclays bank. It's hard, they're all shut down. I mean, I know we're in the 21st century, but where are the banks, please? Shopping hits so different when you are a mum and you go without the kids. Well, the kid. <laughs> Honestly, it's so smooth, so quick, so efficient. You can actually carry loads of bags. Well, I miss the pram, but <sighs> wham bam, thank you, ma'am. In and out the shops. But serious question: If you've ever had things to return in Primark specifically, have you ever got your full refund back? Have you ever gone in and not bought one more thing, like picked up one more thing? I guarantee it's highly unlikely whether you've picked up like some bobby pins at the tail some socks because their socks are elite me picked up a whole dining set as in i got new forks no i didn't i didn't that's all right i got new plates bowls mini plates literally cleared the shelves so haul is due when i get back i'm very happy but i'm kind of like why like <laughs> there isn't much wrong with our plates or anything i mean they're a little bit battered i've got them when i first moved out how long is the like longevity of keeping plates and stuff because the lady at the till when she was scanning the plate she was like these are cute she was like you're making me think i need to like replenish my what would it be called it's not really cutlery is it cutlery is like knives and forks and spoons and stuff but my utensils my utensil department so yeah they're stunning you've probably seen them before i even show you they're on tiktok i've seen them already but they were beautiful and there was quite a few like there was the odd like chipped one so i thought if i walk away and i don't get the maximum amount of things that i need as in part of me was like maybe i'll get a couple why would i do that and it was a pain i had to ask a lady to help me carry them she worked there to the till and then they're great in primark even though everything's so affordable they're so patient and they gift i say gift wrap they just like protect wrapped it which because i thought what should we check them on before i even get back to the car paid in my checks i mean that was that hole in the wall was a bit stressful i missed the bank see my thing about banks there's going to be no banks soon our kids won't see banks everything's going to be online isn't it god i sound like a granny but sometimes i just want to speak to a human like i paid in two checks and didn't even give me the option to get a receipt and it didn't give me a receipt so i'm just stood there like what's done is done if this has gone wrong it's my word against the banks because it's gone the checks have gone and i've just got hope for the best because it said it can take a few working days to go into your bank so fingers crossed for me but i'm gonna go back home now and i'm thinking i've got to make the most of Cass while he's home he's actually going to a bryson tiller listening party tonight which i'm so jealous about so he works in the the music industry but predominantly rappers i was gonna say just rappers but he did um a show with avril lavigne once and she's obviously not a rapper which i was jealous about that as well so nine times out of ten i'm not super jealous about the people he sees but Bryson Tiller, me in 2017, tried to get tickets for him when he was like a lot less known. Well, he was still very known, but, and I literally wanted to cry because I couldn't get tickets. I really like him. Bit of a rogue one for me, just because I'm such a like pop country class because it's shop floor music kind of gal. But yeah, he said it and I was like, oh my God, can I come? And he just laughed. Sorry. That is rude. But yeah, perks of the job. He gets to literally just sit in like an intimate room. I don't actually know how listening parties work, but I picture them all like sitting. I know he sits quite a lot. I always see pictures he shows me when he's like almost in the studio with them. I don't really know how it works to be honest. I know that he loves the job, so that's all that matters, eh? But anyways, gonna run home. Pardon the pun, run. I might run because then he's leaving at eight. Good morning. Whoa, jump scare. The eyebrows. I also did a little bit of. God, I look awful. I did a tiny bit of um, like face tanning drops last night. I used different ones. I used Molly's filter ones because they sent me an Easter package. I used them years ago. I think when she first bought them out, but. But I think I done too many drops versus moisturizer because you like mix it with the moisturizer. But as much as I love filter, <clears throat> I would say my day-to-day -day face like 
gradual tanning drops would be the tanologist day glow but i've run out anyways when i went to primark yesterday <clears throat> i did mention i think that i picked up loads of new plates and stuff so i whacked them in the dishwasher when i got home last night so these are the little ones i got how many little ones did i get i got six small i don't know if i've like <laughs> i don't know why i went for four bowls i should have done four six bowls six big plates which i did do and then four little plates maybe i don't know anyway i couldn't carry everything but the primark staff tried to help me as much as possible but i was scared i was gonna smash everything so six four bowls and then these plates and it felt like i was making a sale making a deal because obviously i was returning stuff <laughs> life hack but i don't know if you can tell there's like a really light kind of wash around the edge, which kind of gives it a bit of like a vintage feel. Absolutely love these. And to be honest, when I saw them, I was like, oh, they're kind of affordable. But by the time I actually picked them all up and got them onto the shelf, I remember roughly, I know, like there's been inflation since I first moved out a few years ago, but that didn't work out any cheaper than going to buy, well, my original plates, which I'll show you, and these are from Wilco. I still really like them, they're like a speckle. The only thing that's annoying is like when you wash them and stuff, because they've got an edge like this. Got a technical plate study. But yeah, I got a pack of them in like a box when I first moved out, but you only get four of everything. And if we have people over, we always need more plates. So she only gets a couple more. But yeah, I think that pack was like 30, but that definitely worked out way more. For example, the bowls alone were seven pounds. So Primark have inflation too. But I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. Ocean's down for first nap. Then I'm actually going to a one-to-one -one Pilates class. I went to one a couple weeks ago and I really enjoyed it. It's so much more targeted if you do a private lesson for Pilates because they're obviously noticing if you're doing movement wrong and stuff and they can really like pinpoint certain things so i remember the moves we were doing in our first one i felt like they were so simple and in my head i was thinking surely this isn't doing much and then as i was getting closer to the end of the session i was actually starting to really shake and you know like when i don't know if you've ever done exercising like your legs are shaking and to the point where like you can't you try and hold them still and you can't and i voiced that to the lovely lady Katie <clears throat> and she was like yeah that's what's gonna happen when like we're targeting the smallest movements like when I tell you we were doing the smallest movements anyway not gonna bore you but I think I'll vlog for today and then we'll wrap this it's been quite a slow moving vlog but I kind of like these vlogs I hope it comes together okay but after Pilates we're actually planning we're gonna go for a picnic today because today is like one of the warmest days so far this year it's like 20 degrees but at the same time, my nan put a damper on it and said, but the wind emoji on the <laughs> weather app is saying otherwise, but I don't know. We just kind of want to do something with the day. And I keep going to say like, let's go to the zoo, but we're saving that for Ocean's birthday next week. So we're just going to do something low key. We're going to go to a little lake nearby us where we can kind of sit around it and lay out and have a picnic, which is nostalgic because that's what me and Cass done quite a lot in lockdown when we'd only been together like six months and obviously we didn't live together or anything. So when you could like meet up with people, like one other person that's not in your family, we'd go for picnics all the time. And it was so funny cause you had to sit like five meters apart from other people. Oh my God, what a throwback. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. Got a little bit of work to do on my laptop and then we go to Pilates. <laughs> We went for a picnic firstly the wind like it was like a tornado secondly when i got home i had a nap when ocean napped so that's why it was just done in that's why it's so dark in here but i'm gonna wrap this video here thank you so much for watching also i if you watch my tiktok where i bought the pink rita aura dress i'll quickly hold it up that everyone's got i actually swapped it for the blue but i do think the blue is slightly different Basically, the reason I swapped it is because I really liked it on me, but everyone said in the comments it's a bit too light pink. I already thought it, but I just wanted a double check. A bit too light pink to wear to a wedding because it's like borderline like a white pink. And I don't want to annoy the bride, so 
I got it in blue. The only thing that's different is these weird sleeves that hang off your shoulder, which I think are horrid in my opinion. So might cut them off. Also the sizing was different. These were like eight, 10, 12, and the other ones were small, medium, large. So I'll try that on. And then really quickly, I literally picked up some mum shorts, which are like a really faint striped denim. And some spare Barbie pins. And then that is all I got. But straight away, you're gonna pretty much be seeing Ocean's party vlog. I still haven't decided if I'm merging it with her actual birthday. Anyways, I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in my next one.